I wear my road ID and it says survivor on it because it, it reminds me that no matter where you go on your journey, it's always going to be a positive. Hi, my name is Michelle. My name is Jennifer. My name is Jennifer Baumgartner. I live in Glen Gardner, New Jersey. Grew up in Louisiana and Tennessee. Always loved the outdoors, hiking, horseback riding, going to summer camp. So I was diagnosed with stage two Hodgkin's lymphoma in August of 2019. And my husband and I had gotten engaged 11 days prior to my diagnosis. So this was a real slap in the face when it happened. But he pushed for us to move the wedding up. So we got married in September, literally three days before treatment started. The year I turned 50, there's a lot that comes with turning 50. Um, so I went for my mammogram. At the first one, I got a letter back that said, we noticed something's not right. Went back for a biopsy. The results came back and it was, it was positive for breast cancer. When you get diagnosed, you get a lot of things just thrown at you. And the first doctor that I met with, she told me over the course of the next two weeks, you're going to meet a slew of doctors. And for the next year, your life is going to suck, but it's not going to be your end. I was diagnosed uh, December 17, 2019. It was a bit of a surprise because my sister was also diagnosed seven years prior. I am a fitness instructor and I used to teach five to 10 classes a week. Last year was a whirlwind of four surgeries. I was so lucky they caught it really early. In December of 2019, I underwent a double mastectomy. Our kids at the time were 10 and 12. So while they understood, it was also a very scary time. My daughter and I were on the square in our little town and there's a coffee shop. She sat outside while I went in to get, to get something. And, and when I came out, she was, she was holding her hands out like this. It was back when everybody was painting rocks and placing them in random places and you'd find them. The rock in which she found outside was painted pink with a little white breast cancer ribbon in it. And I was like, like what are the odds of something like that? It was just little things that, that would pop up along the way that, you know, just led me to believe that things were, they were going to be okay. I feel like, you know, not that long ago, cancer was this big scary thing that nobody wanted to talk about. Medical science has come a long way so that we have so many more treatment options. We're really hoping that, you know, this stem cell transplant is the one that, that gets rid of it and so we can put this behind us and move forward. Gratitude and love are the things in life that carry us forward. So I feel like this last transplant is what's gonna cure my cancer. And it's time for me to transition out of you know, fight mode back into life and looking forward to the things that are going to come. Knowing that there's always going to be hoops to jump over, you can get through it. You're strong and you're powerful and um, you're a fighter. And I think that's the biggest thing is just always remain positive.